It's time to rise and shine. It's the weekend. Hopefully you went hard this week. You setting your new goals for this upcoming week. Person like me, I'm still praying for patience, you dig? For forgiveness. I got a lot to work on too, you dig? So let's all just turn up, take it to that next level, whatever that next level is. Let's figure it out. Let's go to that next level. So life could sometimes be somewhat like owning a 200 acre property with two lawnmowers. Yeah, you could get it done. But if you do a little investing in yourself, you may save some money in the long run, you know? It might be time to buy a tractor. You feel me? So let's let's ask ourselves, do we consume or do we produce? That should be a balance. If you just a person that consume, if all you do is wake up and go stand in line for a pair of Michael Jordans, how long you stand in line to get some money? Last week we spoke about these these idle things. You dig? I want you to know that getting you a duplex, getting you some rental property is a priority over this. This shit cool, it look cool on the gram and all that other shit. But you'll fuck around and, and be dead broke if you ain't getting no real money. I ain't gotta say no names. We know who was the, you know, stay on your A game. And let's not have a problem learning from others mistakes. If you see a nigga go to prison for doing something, make sure you don't do that. Find a different way to do it. You feel me? Every time you see me, I'm trying something new. You see this? Maybach double M rims. I don't line the rims. Shout out to Freddie, Bowtie South. That's my partner. I don't have a problem with partnering up with other brothers. I don't have a problem partnering up with somebody, with a brother, whoever you are. I don't have that problem. I look at the big picture. So like I said, let's learn from others' mistakes. Let's, let's create, let's produce more. Let's get into production, not just consumption. You know, we supporting each other. Let's go hard. Y'all know what this is. Hopefully this will inspire you to get some real money. But make sure you invest in rental properties before you get these. That's what it impressed me. Tell me where your duplex at. Tell me where your, 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 your corner store at. So what we're going to do is set our goals. And we're going to set them to exactly what we want them to be. We're not going to rush, though. Ain't no rush. Keep in mind, the heaviest tank on the battlefield always move the slowest. But what we won't do is waste no more time. You done wasted enough time. Because when you're in pursuit of perfection, all your moves should be premeditated. Yeah. Don't let nothing surprise you. Anticipate it. Mm -hmm. You got to put thought into this shit. Nigga, if you want to reach greatness, you know what I mean? If you want to do something special, if you want to do something unique, or you could go out there blindfolded like 99% of these motherfuckers do and just wish or hope. They get lucky. Fuck luck. Ain't no luck. You know what I'm saying? All muscle. All hustle. As an entrepreneur, rule number one, nobody owes you nothing. I think once you accept that, you begin to move different. That's when you become a leader. Because if you, you demand a certain level of respect, you demand a certain level of loyalty, it's only going to come from you showing it and you giving it. A motherfucker being able to come and talk to you about something and it never being repeated. A motherfucker once and once that's established, that lasts a, long, a lifetime. My homie out there on the horse for the first time, I told him the trainer that I got, the old Vietnam veteran that I give a side hustle to, gonna have him riding in 15 minutes. 
you see out there by itself. You dig? It's just like life. We got to overcome all our fears. What's your fears? You can't swim? This summer learn to swim. What's your fears? You scared of rejection? Fuck it. Face it head on. If they reject me, fuck it. Life ain't over. Bunch of real niggas done been rejected. Bunch of rich niggas done fell. Always remember, real hustlers always bump their head. So if you made a mistake, if you done hit a lick before and lost it all, all real niggas done did that, man. But who gonna get back up on the fucking horse? On the horse of life. And get that bitch to try. Next thing you know, you in full stride, baby. And I think one of the, the biggest weaknesses and the, one of the easiest ones to recognize is if you a lazy motherfucker. If you a lazy motherfucker, whatever position you in, you should accept that with a smile. Because if it's shit you could be doing and you ain't doing it just because you a lazy motherfucker, I don't have no pity for you. Bitch, you could be sleeping in the dark, hungry than a motherfucker. That's your business. Because if you're going to be a lazy motherfucker, I ain't working for you. You better get up off your ass and get up early in the morning and do that shit. Man, you could be up early in the morning. You could go run two fucking miles. You could sweep. You could vacuum. You could do the dishes. You could make breakfast and go do whatever the fuck it is you got to do. Or you're going to make an excuse. Oh, man, my back. Oh, oh, man. Man, fuck that shit. Everybody back. Everybody legs. Everybody head hurt. Everybody all that shit. Nobody don't care about that. And if you think in 2018, 2019, so if you a motherfucker who ain't, who ain't got much for man, I'm just trying to get me a little extra money. Nigga, you see all these car wash motherfuckers we got coming around here wash your cars? You been supposed to say, hey, man, give me a vacuum. Let me do this shit. Hey, man, let me do this shit. All these beats being sold, all these features being done, all these... You ain't bringing none of that to the table. You better go get a motherfucking brush and brush the horse hair. The fuck is you doing? You ain't offering nothing? Or you just, I'm going to wait till somebody give it to me. Well, bitch, keep waiting, ho. Be patient, too. Have a lot of patience. Because this a motherfucker around you like Rosé that's pushing itself. Recording the album, pushing itself, doing performances, pushing itself on conference calls with the record labels, with management, with franchises, with hair care, with other artists, with producers, and on a motherfucking diet. And want a fucking cheeseburger right now. But guess what? That shit can't overwhelm me. It ain't gonna overwhelm me. Cause I ain't gonna let it. I set a pace. Set my own pace. You set your own pace. I can't run fast this goddamn that skinny nigga right there, but I'm going to cross that finish line. And with time comes experience. And with experience, you learn how to deal with things. That's just like me. You know, staying up five days at a time. That was really, I always justified it by me chasing my dreams, just really wanting it. But it, it, it would be some of the things I used to do to go along with it. I'll talk about that later, but you know, having a seizure because you're not getting rest and this and that. And I never knew how many people had seizures till I had one. And motherfuckers would come pull me to the side that I was around a lot of times and I never knew that and say, yo, I know what it, woo, 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 woo. So, you know, that, that's what come with experience. Okay, so damn, I really do gotta get sleep. That's why my mom always said, boy, take your ass to sleep. Ma, I can't, I'm walking around, I'm thinking about this. I'm, Okay, I do gotta get a little rest. I'm gonna try to get a little bit in. I still don't sleep eight hours. I may never do that, but I get a little in there. It's time to surround yourself by people that's gonna really push you and inspire you. It's time to surround yourself around people that's gonna challenge you, gonna challenge your train of thought, gonna challenge all the simple answers. If we working out, you gotta be with a motherfucker that's gonna go harder than you. A motherfucker that's gonna tell you a hundred jumping jacks ain't enough. You know? And that's what applied to the game. And when you do that, you look up. All that other shit come easy. All that shit will fall in place. You'll have every Ferrari they make, every Porsche they make. You'll have you a stable of horses, trucks, any fucking thing you can imagine. That shit's small once the work get put in. But that's what's gonna separate the boys and men. That's what's gonna separate the kings 
from the, you know, the mediocre, the amount of work you put in. That day. I think being a, a successful businessman or boss, um, I think the first thing you should always do is highlight, recognize your disadvantages or your weaknesses, you know? It's just like if you're on a diet, if you're a motherfucker that's on a diet and trying to become healthier, lose weight, first you gotta acknowledge what, what my weaknesses are. I know what it is. Cheeseburgers, every time I see that personal pan pizza, them sodas, you gotta draw a line through that shit and just say, fuck it. I'ma do what I gotta do to do, do right. And as the results begin to come, that feeling of accomplishment, that should be worth more than anything that, you know, your taste buds could give you. You feeding your soul then.